नमस्ते ऑल आम जेवीएन सुनीता शिकावत फैकल्टी ऑफ फिजियोथेरेपी एंड डायग्नोस्टिक डिलीवरिंग दिस वीडियो लेक्चर ऑन सर नाइनटीन सेप्टेम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री ऑन टॉपिक सलाइवरी ग्लैंड एंड देर क्लासिफिकेशन ओके सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द टॉपिक सो हेयर इन फर्स्ट स्लाइड एज वी कैन सी दिस पिक्चर कंटेन ऑल द टाइप ऑफ स्लाइवरी ग्लैंड सो इफ वी कैन सी इन दिस पिक्चर सो द फर्स्ट वन इज दिस वन इज पैरोटिड लैंड आफ्टर दैट सब मैंडिबुलर दैन सब मैंडिबुलर डक सिस्टम सब लैंगवल ग्लैंड एंड हेयर इज इट ऑल्सो पैरोटिड डक सिस्टम सो एज यू कैन सी इन दिस पिक्चर देर आर लॉर्ड्स ऑफ स्लाइवरी ग्लैंड ओके सो दीज ऑल द स्लाइवरी ग्लैंड कंटेन स्लाइव सिक्रेशन रिप्रोड्यूज द स्लाइवा इन द ओरल कैविटी सो इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी हैव टू डिस्कस ऑल द टाइप ऑफ स्लाइवरी ग्लैंड द सिक्रेशन and the duct system through which they secrete their secretion okay so next uh, begin with this session so in this slide we talk about what is actually salivary gland so basically salivary glands are the compound exocrine gland which secrete their secretion in the oral cavity in the form of saliva basically as we all know the role of saliva is uh, basically to lubricate the food In, and convert them into form of bolus and some kind of digestion also. So as we can see in the picture also in uh, like above picture, sorry like previous picture, this picture also contain different types of uh, glands like this one is some lingual, some mandibulary, parotid. So basically as you can see in this picture, these all the glands are located in the oral cavity. so basically we will discuss one by one these glands so uh, next slide contain classification of this slidery gland basically this classification of two types one on the basis of size and the second is on the basis of secretory size so on the basis of size salivary glands are of two types major and minor major uh, salivary glands uh, we seen see in the previous slide like parotid sublingual submandibular and some other are also present which are comes in the category of minor salivary glands on the basis of type of secretory cell we can see in the slide uh, there are three types of salivary gland one is serous then second mixed after that mucus type of salivary gland in case of serous gland uh, it contains serous cell type of uh, cells which comes uh, parotid gland after that mixed type of gland contain mixed cell like serous cell plus mucus cell and uh, submandibular comes in this category after that mucus cell contain mucus cell and um, all the type of minor salivary glands glands come in the category of mucus type of salivary glands okay so ne- in the next slide we will talk about major salivary glands basically major sti- uh, salivary glands are as we can see parotid submandibular and submandibular uh, so if we talk about major type of gland so basically what is major salivary gland major salivary glands are the collection of secretory cell aggregated into the large bilateral paired extra oral glands with the extended duct system through which the gland secretion reach the mouth so basically all the secretion reach the mouth and then help in the digestion of food basically digestion of carbohydrates starch and etc okay so uh, we see in the previous slide so with the same picture we can see about the all the three types of gland one is parotid gland after that and then the second is submandibulary and the third type of gland is the sublingual so as you can see in the picture parotid gland is located near the ear after this location of submandibulary is in the lower area or you can see in the uh, beneath the tongue and same as the sublingual it is also located beneath the tongue so all these uh, three glands secrete their secretion to the duct system and then these duct system reaches the uh, buccal cavity or oral cavity and they secrete the secretion which uh, con- contribute in the formation of saliva okay so in next slide we can talk up, uh, we will talk about the minor salivary glands so basically what is minor salivary glands minor salivary glands are the collection of secretory cells scattered throughout the mucosa and submucosa wall of the oral cavity 
for the short duct opening directly into the mucosal surface so basically we have different types of uh, minus rivalry glands so the first one is serous gland after that lingual then lingual buccal after that labial palatal glass uh, glossopalatine and retromolar type of glands so basically all these are uh, minus rivalry gland we don't have to discuss in the uh, in detail about these gland but we have uh, to know the name at least about the minor slide glands because they also help in the formation of saliva and further they help in the digestion so next we talk about uh, after that we talk about the classification based on the type of secretories and so on the basis of secretion So on the basis of secretory cell, uh, various salivary glands are of three types. One is serous, then second is the mixed type, and after that mucous type. As we see in the previous slides, parotid gland is the type of serous cell, then submandible is the type of mixed type, and then minor salivary glands is the type of mucous type. Okay. So in next slide, we will talk about the parotid gland. So basically, what is parotid gland? Where is it located? And the type of contribution. Okay. So uh, in this slide, we can see parotid gland is the largest slide. Okay. Largest uh, salivary gland located in the oral cavity. It contains 60 to 65 percent of the total saliva composition and pyramidal in shape. And if we talk about the weight, then it uh, its weight is 14 to 28 grams. The location uh, is. Superficial portion of the gland is located subcutaneous in the front of the external ear. Right? You can see in this picture in the front of external ear and deeper portion lies behind the ramus of the mandible. It is associated with the different types of facial nerves which help in the secretion or stimulus for the secretion of saliva or you can see the secretion of parotid gland. So this secretion of parotid glands is uh, released with the help of some duct system. So basically parotid gland duct system is known as Stenson duct. Stenson duct is a uh, duct system of parotid gland. So uh, as we can see in this diagram, yeah, this duct system is the duct of parotid gland and known as Stenson duct. The role of this Stenson duct is the secretion of parotid gland secretion and then uh, move this secretion to the oral cavity and formation of saliva water. So in this uh, slide you can see Stenson ducts runs forward across the mastress muscle runs inwards at the anterior uh, border of the mastress and open at the papilla in the oral cavity papilla are located on the uh, tongue just opposite second maxillary molar crown. So basically it opens into the oral cavity and near the papilla of the tongue. Okay, so in next portion, you can see a small portion of parotid forms accessory glands associated with the stents and duct just anterior to the superficial portion of the gland, right? So here we uh, complete with the parotid gland. So next gland is the submandibular gland. Submandibular glands weight is 10 to 15 gram and its overall portion for the formation of saliva is 2 to 30 percent. So if we talk about the location of this gland, the submandibular gland located in this way so as you can see in the picture this is the location of submandibular gland so this is located on the floor of the mouth and medial aspect of the medicine and medieval and wrapped around the posterior border of the myeloid okay so here it is the submandibular gland and if we talk about the duct system the hair is the duct system of submandibular gland which is known as Watson duct okay so we talk about the Watson duct. So Watson duct runs forward and opens into the mouth beneath the tongue lateral to the lingual frenulum. What is lingual frenulum? Basically lingual frenulum is the attachment of tongue in the oral cavity. So here this area is the lingual frenulum and this duct system is the Watson duct of submandibular gland. Right? So here comes with the location of submandibular gland. After that, we will move forward to the sublingual gland. 
Sublingual gland basically is the uh, smallest salivary glands and helps with the only 2.5% of the total saliva. It is located in the anterior part of the floor of the mouth just beneath the mucosa and myeloid muscles. It opens into the oral cavity through the series of different types of ducts. Some ducts are small and others are large. If we talk about the duct system which is small ducts known as ducts or ravenous and large ducts are known as Barthenol duct which opens into the oral cavity, right? So next we will talk about the minor salivary gland. So basically minor salivary glands have 600 to 1000 summers. So basically we don't discuss these in detail. We just have to know about the minor salivary gland and their contribution. These are the vexed aggregate of saliva, uh, secretory tissue present in the submucosa throughout the most of the oral cavity. Okay, so basically they also secrete some kind of uh, secretion which helps in the saliva formation. Next, we talk about the duct system of salivary gland. So duct system is like the uh, three branches. So let's see in the picture. First one is the main excretory duct. After that, excretory duct, then striated duct, intercollected duct. After that, then caniculus between cells and the last is the actual alveoli which in the form of tubular secretory cell or spherical cell, right? So, let's discuss this. First one is the main excretory duct which opens into the oral cavity. Excretory duct are most of the located into the interlobular and active tissue. Second one is the striated duct. These are the main intralobular ductal components. And then next one is the intercollected duct, which is very in length, different kind of length is there. And connect the secretory end piece with the striated duct. Secretory end piece, and as you can see in the picture, this one is the intercollected duct. And then these both are the end pieces, right? So after that, intercellular canaliculi, these are the extension of the lumen of the end piece between the adjacent secretory cell that serve to increase the luminal surface area available for the secretion, right? So next we talk about the uh, different types of secretory cells. So this one is the first cell, which is serous cell and uh, two types of glands is contained. One is the parotid and the second is submandibular type of gland. These both are the type of serous cell. So uh, how we define them? So basically these uh, glands are divided on the basis of type of secretion. These uh, secretion contain most of the proteinous uh, substance like enzymes, antimicrobial or calcium binding substances. Antimicrobial substances help in the uh, removal of the microbes and uh, comes around with the attachment of the food, calcium binding proteins and some enzymes which helps in the digestion and uh, antibacterial growth. These present in the daminulin formation at the blind spot of mucus secretory tubules which is submandibular and sublingual right so next we move to the mucus cell if we talk about the mucus cell these are the predominant secretory cell of the sublingual and most of the minor salivary glands okay it also occur in submandibular gland if we talk about this type of secretion of these cell then it helps in the lubrication effective barrier and helps in the aggregation of microorganisms right aggregation of microorganisms and then leads to the death of the, these microorganisms which helps in the removal of a uh, deadly microorganism bacterial growth microbial growth and the protection of or buccal cavity or oral cavity with the infections produced by these of the these microorganisms right so basically this lecture is all about the type of salivary gland their classification on different types of one is the on the type of uh, basis of the size and then second is the on the basis of secretory cell as we discuss in this lecture on the basis of size salivary glands are of two type major and minor and on the basis of secretory cell salivary glands are of three types one is serous cell then second is mixed type and the third is mucus type right so thank you